Angela Rayner fights against the sexism and misogyny in the House of Commons after somebody commented on her legs. So, the Daily Mail puts out this article. Tories accuse Angela Rayner of basic instinct ploy to distract Boris. MPs claim that the Labour deputy leader likes to put the Prime Minister off his stride by crossing and uncrossing her legs at PMQs. So this is a weird allegation to make and it seems sort of out of nowhere. And I want to know which MP said it, which Conservative MP said it well. We don't know. One MP said, she knows she can't compete with Boris's Oxford Union debating training, but she has other skills which he lacks. A Labour source said, just when you think the Conservative Party can't get any lower, they outdo themselves. The Conservatives clearly have a problem with women in public life. The article also goes on about her background, because she's working class, she left school at 16 while pregnant with no qualifications. This article just seems really strange to me, it just seems like another dig at the Tory pass. It pitches working class Angela Rayner against Etonian Oxford educated Boris Johnson. Woman versus man, proletariat against the bourgeoisie. And it's just led to a number of MPs, including Boris Johnson and Keir Starmer, calling out misogyny in the House of Parliament. Angela Rayner, of course, tweeted about it. Women in politics face sexism and misogyny every day, and I am no different. I stand accused of a ploy to distract the helpless PM by being a woman and having legs and wearing clothes. I am conspiring to put him off his stride. Boris Johnson's cheerleaders have resorted to spraying desperate, perverted smears in their doomed attempts to save his skin. They know exactly what they're doing. I won't be letting their vile lies deter me. Their attempts to harass and intimidate me will fail. This situation reminds me of that time where that Labour MP wore a shoulderless outfit, I think it was a dress, and that didn't comply with parliamentary dress procedure. And she went on some feminist rampage. And let's be real, this isn't a good look for the Tory party. And the MP who remained anonymous while making these comments probably knew that, otherwise they wouldn't be anonymous. It just seems like another blow at the Conservative Party in a way for Labour to be fighting against misogyny and against the awful Tory. Like, it's another blow after Partygate. Not only do they break lockdown rules, they're also terrible misogynists. And it just seems that the left are milking it a bit. Like, it's a comment on her legs, I understand it's off-putting, but it's not hateful. The Guardian released an article, has Westminster faced its Me Too reckoning? Ask Angela Rayner. It just seems so dramatic and it just seems a pinnacle of what modern day feminism has become. The original Me Too movement aim was about women opening up about abuse, harassment in the workplace or in life in general. Not some random anonymous MP making comments about your legs. This just seems like another blow against Boris while Partygate is in the air. But to be fair, Boris has handled this situation quite well. They're launching an investigation on the MP who said it, and Boris promises terror on earth for Rayner's basic instinct briefer. And other than that, really, what else can he do? I have to say, I thought it was the most appalling uh, sex progeny right. I... I don't know what we'll do. Yeah. As we conclude, let's clarify something. No one thinks Angela Rayner is using her womanly, deceitful tactics to distract Boris Johnson. Where has this come from? Thank you so much for watching this video. Reasoned is a grassroots organisation that's entirely funded by people like yourself. So if you're in a position to do so, please do consider supporting us by clicking the link to the side there.